It's been an epic season so far, but with this new group, we knocked it out of the park. Hunt after hunt, we could do no evil. Mel starts it off with over 150 birds in the trailer after their first hunt, which definitely set the tempo for the remainder of their trip. I take a group on a fast and furious snow goose hunt, putting birds in their laps with the help of our new secret weapons. We turn to Mel again as he scoops one of my duck hunts to wrap up the tour with a limit of ducks. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. We got a heavy northwest wind and, and what happened was the birds come out of the roost and, and they don't want to buck the wind so they just flipped out into a, a field that's right beside the roost where once in a while this year they'd been in there but uh, it's not their field of choice but when you got a little bit of weather the birds get lazy and they're going we don't need to fly nowhere they just flip out now i do have another hunt that's only a mile from the roost that looked good tonight so we're not in any means any big trouble or nothing but it's just what happens when you got heavy wind my target finally started to come and there's lots of strings coming the wind is calmed they're on the move. Now they don't have to fight anything, so they're more willing to travel that three miles. And that's exactly what's going on. There wasn't anything in this field when we first come by at just after five o'clock. Now it's six o'clock, and it's been steady flights coming in here since we got here. So we've decided to target these ducks and these darks with the snows to give the guys a good first morning. We're rocking, we're set. Boy, this field looks harder than a brick. Oh wow, look, he's got nice. supper on already. Nice! Oh wow, look at this. this is fresh. Your hunting license. So this is your provincial license right here? And this is your federal, keep it all together, okay? I'm number four. I'm number four, here. Yes. There you go, do you know how to use Super Black Eagle 3? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll just give them Mel a hand, a new group, so they don't know totally how it goes down, so save a little time, give them a hand putting out some decoys. They're off getting some chaff, so keep them busy, get their blinds looking good, and we'll get the majority of the decoys at least the perimeter started before they get back so save some time kind of running two legs try to get a lot of decoys around us but yet not too far in front of us so the ducks can work up the middle and get them in close enough to shoot so run lots of whites around us break us up a uh, band of darks just 20 yards out with a hole there for the ducks to we can put a robo duck here and get the ducks to hopefully center get the specks work up the middle, but get enough whites to get them to come over and try to land in, in front of themselves with us here, so. I figured that's what you guys were doing. Yeah. It's the color that's the problem. Well, it's the color, it's the texture. You look like a blob. You look like a blob, you don't kill them. You gotta actually have the peach out. Anytime a hunters go down to a slough, they're usually not bringing back peach aff. They're bringing back slough grass. It's a little off colored. So I'm just gonna go take a look around the field, see if I can find some better uh, cover. So we'll get them putting out some decoys now. I'll go look for some chaff. <laughs> we might be starting over. The guys are doing a good job. And yeah, got a bunch of family groups out there. That's looking pretty good. We want to target these ducks and these uh, darks. The snows are gonna come, I know that. But uh, yeah, if we can target them and get a bunch of them will be really stylish. We found the last of the peach half in this field. You found some? Yeah, a little bit. 
be great. So we didn't find a ton though, so let's be. Well, this is great. I found it. Good. As long as we can get them blinds yeah. off, looking good for a while. Stay low, keep your face covered. Get ready, guys. This is all our darks. This is great. Watch this single goose. Kill him, kill him. Get him. There we go. Get ready, guys. Watch this single, boys. Kill him. Good shooting, guys. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Get back in. Hurry, 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 hurry. Right in front. <laughs> Get ready. Beat him up, guys. Okay, get down, guys. We got peace coming. I'm gonna let them get right in your face, guys. Shoot your lanes. Go, 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 go! Get right back in, boys. We got a lot of birds in there. Watch this flock right in front. They're getting low. Go, 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 go! Right back in, loading back in. Uh, it's not good when they come in big blobs like that, but I think we gotta be pretty close on dark geese, guys, so we need to pick up, but I don't wanna screw up his duck. Well, that's an interesting looking hunt. Uh, so, we're getting late in the, in the season now. Well, not late, late, late into our season, I guess. It's uh, like October 23rd. You know, we got about two weeks to go. What we're seeing now are much, much shorter days. So, uh, because of that, we're getting a little bit more sleep, which is good. But what it does, it condenses our timeline during the day very, very much. So. You know, we have to be very cognizant of, you know, wrapping up that morning combo or morning duck hunt so we can get out and hunt uh, hunt the afternoon options. And, you know, we have specks are starting to filter out, although there's still quite a few around. It's not like it was, say, two weeks ago. And then now we're starting to see more and more honkers. And of course, there's lots of ducks and lots of snow. So, you know, those snow hunts can extend that morning quite a bit, which leaves us a real short time frame to get out in the afternoon or evening. So it's... Uh, it's, it's an interesting time of year. It, it's fun, but it means there's just no downtime during the day. And if we get any inclement weather at all, we have to make that, that decision and that move real quick, uh, you know, and just, and just get right back out there. So I'm gonna try grab permission on, on this hunt. Uh, it's interesting, they're feeding right next to the roost, but uh, I, if I get permission on it, we'll figure out how to shoot it later, I guess. Straight in front, make sure your face is covered real good. See what happens. Hopefully they're coming. In. Just get ready, boys. Shoot your lanes and kill a bunch. Are you ready? Go, go, go! Get them! Okay, get back in. We got more. You got them anyway. Okay, get ready.
Go, 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 go! Right back in, guys, right back in. Yeah, there's there's a couple ducks coming right in. Go! Let's pick up some dark geese and stuff. Real fast, as fast as you can go. I got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple. We're picking up the dark geese now because I don't want to go over. We've killed a lot of them. And I lost count on them, so I, I got to stop. We're missing out on birds, but it's important we don't go over. Come on, let's get in. We're screwing up birds. This could be the biggest hunt of the year so far if we can keep hammering them. And we got our snows coming, boys. Kill us three. Get down, get down. Go, 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 go. Anybody got any more shells? Because there's four keys. Get, hurry up, guys, hurry up. Well, it's the first 150 bird hunt of the season, and we got 153, so perfect. It's about time. Been waiting a while for one of these. We always say this, if we'd have shot a few more earlier, or if the boys would have knocked five or six out of the group, she'd have been 200 easy. But, hey, it's a great hunt. You can't shoot them all perfect every time. I'm glad we could deliver. I, I thought the hunt would be as good as it was. Yeah, it's awesome. The bellman do deliver, right? <laughs> he tries to. <laughs> Let's look, let's look. I love surprises. Oh boy. That's a pile. That's a big pile. That makes me happy. Makes me really happy with this group. Their first time with us. First time here with us, so that makes me really happy. I'm very happy. Melvin, is that a boy? Got her done. How many? 153. 153 total or 150 total. stones? Total. Good. How was it? It was awesome, man. Great day. Yeah. Great morning. Uh, Mel ended up with 153, Jeff with 101, so 254 for the morning. That's just the, all, well, most of the ducks, not quite all of them, a bunch of darks and a bunch of whites. So good morning, happy group of guys, and just hit the reset button, try to do it again this afternoon with some snows and finish up the ducks with one group and get some darks with the other one. So it should be good. Lots of birds around still, so that's nice. That's what we do here, we make memories. Yes, you do. It's not about the hunting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? All right, maybe a little bit. I'm on a snow goose hunt this afternoon and we've got a really nice wind. Shifting a little bit, but not bad. And uh, we're just running. I'm going to run two long arms with some family groups up the middle and kind of a feed band that we'll be in and just a small secondary feed band, give them a bit of a hole and, and then uh, I'll just get those birds to hopefully finish right in the pocket and right in on top of this one, which is the plan, so it'll be good. And that's that, you know, we're going to set out the, the clones right now. I'm going to put uh, three clones right in the hole and I think I'll put four or five right, right up when just behind my head. And then I'll put the goose call, stab it right in the middle here somewhere. We're good to go. That's that. All right, boys, it's go time. Let's hope this works. Watch your movement, guys. Be real still. Get ready, get ready. Boop. Get ready. V4, get ready. Boop. 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 Right in the hole, perfect. Drill them, guys. Drill them, drill them, drill them. Get that last one. Atta boy. Load quick, load quick, load quick. 
Get ready, guys. Get ready. Uh-oh, 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 uh-
throw in the deeks and we're good to go. It's a pretty easy setup. I think they're just starting to wake up. Like usually a, a puddle, you're covered in the dark. Kill him. Good draw, boys. Take him. I would take these ones, guys. Take him. It's a strange one. It's like they all went to a different frickin' field or something. Take it. Here we go. Kill him! Well, that's 40. We got them. It took longer, way longer than I thought it would. They just did not want to puddle. <laughs> it is what it is, but it turned out good at the end. Chip, you don't have to go home, but you can stay here. <laughs> All right, so, you know, this group here, it had been their first time with us. Uh, some of the guys first time in Canada, a couple of them first time they've ever hunted. And of course, they roll in here, and, uh, you know, it couldn't have been more epic. We shot like 945 birds in two and a half days. New camp record. We've never done that. That's just, those are big numbers right there for 10 guys in three days. Lots of snows, but those are still big numbers. It's just been slam, bam, thank you, ma'am, the whole time. And they're happy trip off to the airport now they're all smiles and I, I couldn't have asked for a better three days you know and I don't think they could have either and it was relatively stressless for us so pretty cool pretty cool